Okay, let's finish off the last two projects for your penguin class. These are both um, ornament tag kind of decoration things. Let's do this one first. So for this one, I took the new baubles die and you can tell that I ran it through. Um, and I ran them through the die with the paper together like this. That way the, the edge that will be your front is a little bit more beveled than the edge that will be the back. Um, it's flat. So that kind of gives you the extra pressure, just makes a nice little edge for it there. So you wanna glue these two together. Unless you want to make two, if you're just, if you're going to use it for sure for a tag, then don't do this part and then you'll have two because you have plenty of supplies to make two of them. So stick this on here and then just go over to your paper and pick any of the characters that you want. There's big ones, there's small ones, there's the penguins, there's the foxes, there's the polar bear. I went with the polar bear because I like the way it looked with the silver. So I'm just going to stick this on here as well. You can use any glue. You're gonna need glue anyway, so if you wanna glue it together, if it's gonna be an ornament, and these would be super fun to make with kids. Um, so if you have like a Thanksgiving project that you need to make, when kids come to your house, this would be super fun Girl Scouts. Stick the little tree on there, and again, use your imagination, Use do as much as you want. Then if you have a hole punch, you can hole punch it. I always just use this. So just take your foam pad, stick this in here, or you can use a hole punch. The nice thing about when you use your take your pick tool is if I want my hole to be all the way down here, a lot of times where a hole punch won't reach, that will reach. So you just have your hole. Then for this one, I gave you the white ribbon. I'm gonna need that again in a second. So I found it, because it's pretty sturdy, this organdy ribbon, you don't, it's pretty easy to get through. So I just did one at a time. You can try to do two and do a loop, but this works. So pull that through and then you want your knot up at the top. So keep your hand down so the knot doesn't go lower. So I like to just stick a finger under here like that and then tie the second knot. And again, if you're gonna use it for an ornament, you might have this a little longer. If it's gonna be a tag, then you can um, do more of a tag knot. And once you have that pulled, then just make sure this isn't gonna pull on itself. This ribbon does these tags, uh, um, knots really nicely. So have it like that and then pull it back and you can see it's not going anywhere. So you got that. And then you have three stars and you have the purple ones. Although you're gonna find that when you put them on here, uh, the, they look a little bit green. Cause they kind of reflect off of the silver and the the other color. So it's just kind of picking that up. But it matches the ribbon, super cute. You could stop, there is a, um, you could make a little two from on the back. You can put one of the greetings on the back on some paper. Then you're gonna take your um, fine tip glue. And what I did was I just added some dots. And just remember every place that has a dot will have a sequin. So do as many or as few as you want because you have your giant thing of sequins. So just go over to your sequins and then use your um, gummy tip. It makes it so easy to getting, getting these out. And try to get random. There's different shapes, different colors, different sizes of these. So either do all the same or try to get a nice selection. But this little tip, and if your stuff has run out, if you've had your take your pick for a while, you can buy a little replacement that has the little sticky stuff in it. And it's on the same page in the catalog, or you can look it up by tools on the website. But it makes it go way faster than trying to pick these things out of here individually. So that's all you have to do. Super cute, you could fly through these. You have tons of animals on your paper. You can use other stamp sets, you can Here's my done one. I did do more um, sequins on that because I wasn't talking. So up to you. Again, a great kids class, a great uh, I mean, craft, a great thing to make for tags, to hang on a little tree. If you have um, like a scout troop or you wanna make some things and take them up to the nursing home, super, super easy and tons of fun. If you don't wanna use your paper, you can also use the stamps and stamp your images or the punch. So our last project is my favorite, 
and it is, you're gonna take your little jam jar, and you're gonna need your pokey thing again. So take your, take your pick tool, lay your jar here, and then just stick this in the middle, and then push down. And now we're gonna have a fun little place to put our ribbon. Now for this one, you're gonna use your punch. So we need four feet. And depending on how you do this, you may get way more out of these. You just have to be careful that you're putting it in. See, once it's cut, I like to go in this direction, like that. And this is from the ombre gl glimmer paper. And I'm gonna flip around to this edge. And then what I have left, I can trim these ends off and do it some more. So you need four feet. It's stuck in there. So you have the four feet. And then you need two bodies. And again, stick it in. If you don't stick it like so it's all getting cut up, just make sure you stick it right where, all the way to the edge, just so it's getting cut. Oh, look, I had an extra foot. Oh no, it's the same one. Don't know how it got back up there. And then again, I'm gonna flip it over here. That way you'll have a little bit of extra paper and you can do one more with the fuzzy body. This is this um, snow white paper that is snowy white and it's in the cabin suite. And then you need this body. And again, I'm gonna do one over here. Just make sure he's all the way on. Turn it this way. That way you're not always cutting these pieces out when you don't need them. So now we have that. I have, um, oh, we'll do this and then we'll go on to the next step. So you need to stamp him. So I used Memento for his eyes. Just do both of them. And then the colors of the class that I told you is Calypso, Calypso Coral is what they have as his um, beak. Up to you. If you wanna do that or if you wanna do um, one of the yellows or the orange, the pumpkin pie. This looks cute. When I first realized that that was the, the beak color, I was like, mm, but then I liked it. So with this, you wanna make sure that you glue, put your adhesive always on the back of the flat paper. Because if you try to put your adhesive on here, it's just not gonna stick. So there's his little beak. Then you need his feet. And it takes us a while to dry. I have my windows open. I don't know if you can hear the, the crickets and the birds, but it's a tad muggy here today. So it will take the snowy white paper a little bit of time to dry. So just try not to touch it. But in just a second, he's not gonna be touched. So take this, flip this over. Piece it here. And then because these are the same, you can just stick them together just like this. Again, just be careful not to touch his beak. So there he's done. And then you have a little circle and I cut this out from the circle dies and it's from the blue glimmer paper. And the first time I used my fine tip glue on all of this, and then I had to sit it there to dry for quite some time. So if you have a glue gun, I would recommend you get a glue gun. It just goes faster. So first put a little dab in there and stick this in. So it looks like he's sitting in some water and then you're gonna need like a heap of it. So I just kind of built it up. If you have clear, then it's gonna just look like water. And when you go to stick this part in, you can notice that there's lines on the jar. So make sure that He's in between the lines and just stick him up in there and you'll have to hold it for a second. I'll fast forward this part of the video. It doesn't take very long with the hot glue. The liquid glue, I will tell you, I put this, that's how I dried it the first time. And I just 
did leaned it on this and with the liquid glue it just dried but it took probably a good 40 minutes this will dry a lot quicker okay he's just about dry it's been maybe two minutes at tops and um, i did add a little bit more um glue to the front and i can't find my glue stick so i have to happen to have a blue glitter one so i switched um that was before this because you know if you um are of glue gun vintage <laughs> then the um they work with a little bit half in there but i wasn't i knew i wasn't gonna have enough and i didn't i would have used it all up so now i'm going to take this be careful when you touch in here because where we've made that little hole it can be a bit sharp so this time i did stick both of these in and you're going to trim this so if it gets a little frayed plus it's going to be on the inside of your ornament so i really wanted to do it upside down so this was the bottom but I couldn't get the, the hole in the bottom because there's a little reinforced center on the bottom of it and it was just too thick for this to go through. If you have a way like a nail or a hammer and you want to do it opposite, feel free to make this be the bottom. It doesn't matter. So pull this in. And you can pull it a little higher than just make sure some, some stays out there because we're going to do the same kind of a, a knot in here. And again, because this ribbon holds it holds so well, you just have to do, whoops. I got a lot going on right there. So just tie this into a little knot. And once you had not a knot, just one tie then pull this back up. And when that gets a little smaller, you can pull it tight. And that holds it because this is going to be sealed inside. So then we have, I did use glue dots for this part and I put four on first. You'll need five all together and just wrap them around the lid. There's the cicadas. Told you my windows were open. Sounds like late summer in Indiana. That's the sound that I associate with it. Then yours is cut to the right size on this, but start with a glue dot and then just wrap this around. Again, this is another fun, this would be a fun office gift, fun teacher gift. You could hang them on your coworkers' desks, drop them off at your neighbor's house, just hang one on their doorbell. And another fun thing to take up to nursing homes or places where they need a little holiday cheer. You can also do things, I know I several stampers who make ornaments like this and then you could even substitute with a different animal. But for humane societies and animal shelters, because you can make these inexpensive and then take them up to them and allow them to sell them. So now here's our top. And then you have some more stars. I was, I was like, ah, oh, you just use stars on this one, but the stars just work so perfect for this. So you have six, because this isn't, a card where I need to know where to go. So I gave you six. So you have one of each size and color. So I did those and then I just made sure that the little ones weren't right next to their same color. And just kind of randomly put them on there. Now let's see if he's, see, he's, he's good. And it's a little pool. Um, you can see it better probably because I switched to the blue, not intentionally, but he's just sitting in a little pool and I'll show you on the other one where you just use the clear and then take your sequins and you didn't want to do this until that's mostly set. If a little bit of them stick, that's okay because they can stick around his feet and just fill this so it makes a fun little shaker. drop some on my table. I was careful when I did it the first time. So you have that and then just screw your lid on and it looks like this. I'm going to use my other one because I don't want to tilt him over and find out he wasn't all the way set. So here he is and you can see the clear hot glue just looks like ice and it has the fun little shaky effect. Some of it will go underneath so it'd be fun to mail these as well. 
So that's your last two projects. If you have any questions, then let me know. If you um, need any of the item numbers for any of the things to make it, I'd be happy to help you. And uh, that's it. Thanks for taking the class. A lot of the things that we used in this were specialty papers, um, all these glimmers and uh, um, snowy white velvet. Those will all make an appearance when I open up registration for our fall retreat because we're going to use lots of fun papers. So be watching for registration to open for that. Have a great day. Bye.